Hey guys, so today I am very lucky to be at Bedford Autodrome. So a very big thanks to my sponsor Evolve Project Consultancy for providing the day to day and just giving me a chance to get out and get a bit of track practice around Bedford before my assessment. Today's going to be all about learning those all important lines, breaking points, just getting familiarised with the track and all that sort of stuff as well. So it might not be the quickest, but it's definitely going to be the most beneficial day. So I've also got the pleasure of this car for the day. So we are in Track Obsessions 197 Track Spec Clio. So this is going to be good fun. And of course it's front wheel drive, so it's a bit closer to what the assessment car is going to be like when I'm here in November. Sadly not electric, but petrol's where it's at. So first session out went pretty well actually. The car is is great to be honest. You can just drag it around, which is really nice. Um, the only thing is obviously it's quite lagging in straight lines, but again we're here to learn the lines, learn the braking points and everything, not be the fastest car here um, when there's things like McLarens and Porsches here. So definitely not going to be the fastest, but um, it's still a little bit damp out there, so there is still a bit of sliding, a um, little bit of understeer still, so just sort of got to slide down on those hairpins, but really starting to lie on the track a little bit better now, which is what we're looking for, so let's go give it another session. <laughs> So guys, I've just had a passenger lap in an E92 M3 and I'm really impressed with how much grip it actually has. Um, I thought it'd be quite skinny because they're a lot heavier, but lots of grip, really amazed. So it's helped me learn a little bit more about the lines of the tracks actually watching someone else do it at speed. So now I'm going to have another guy when it quiets down in a minute and see how I get on. And again, another huge thank you to Evolve Project Consultancy for providing today. So I've just had my instruction session with James who is a BTCC driver and the difference is incredible. So it's teaching me to put a lot more trust in the car, where to brake, where to take the corners, the best way through the corners, which obviously he knows the track like the back of his hands. So he knows the exact right lines and it's just putting that trust into that. So we're gonna have lunch now and then go out and I'm gonna try and practice perfecting those moments. And then when I go back out with him, we're gonna clean it all up again and get some speed going through, but 10 out of 10. Me? Pit stop. Oh, it's a much better track, isn't it? I've just had my second session since the afternoon and the instruction from James has really, really helped. I mean, it's like having him sat on my shoulder telling me what to do at every corner and I'm quite proud that I've memorised it. With it being such a long track and there's so many corners, I thought I'd forget like either the second half or something like that, but I remembered everything that he told me and I'm really trying to put it into practice and get it consistent, which it is and I'm so, so proud of myself. The car's actually performing really well, making the most of it and being able to use a little bit of power on the understeers, keep it going and all that sort of jazz. Kind of know what I'm doing more than I can explain it, but I've got a couple more sessions until I go out again with James and try and sort of finesse everything. But I'm loving it. I love this track as well, it's awesome, it's awesome. Cool cars here as well, including the Aston, there's quite a few Porsches, TTs, the M2s are ridiculously quick. On the back straight, this poor little thing is flat out at 110 miles an hour while the M2s just walk past me. So I am multitasking, so I'm getting ready to try and get an extra couple of sessions out before the end of the day. I've just had my second go with James the instructor. He said things have learned and been a lot more consistent. 
and now it's just a matter of putting it into practice breaking a little bit later coming off the brakes a little bit earlier and just really trying to nail everything together so let's go give it another go <laughs> That's my last session today in the Clio because fuel lights come on and the fuel station's closed at quarter to five. But the difference again, so James told me to brake later on one of the hairpins to go into fourth before one of the corners because I'm taking it faster and changing halfway. And also just sort of taught one of the hairpins a lot better and a lot smoother. So I kept those three key things along with the consistency of the other improvements and it just all came together. So a little bit of traffic, but overall fantastic final session. And yeah, I've just loved it. Again, a huge, huge thank you to Evolve Project Consultancy. I'll pop their link below, but today has been incredible. and probably one of the most beneficial things for my Formula One journey. And I just can't thank them enough for giving me today. So guys, make sure you check them out. Bye bye little Cleo. Thank you so much for being fantastic. So you guys know the drill to make my journey your journey. Like, but subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.